Here we're looking at the Hawksky AT1107 8500KV. This is about a 7.1 gram motor, and at this KV we're looking at it at uh, 2S. Our estimated KV from these uh, test results comes out at 8400 KV, um, so really, really close to nameplate rated. This has a very wide spread of efficiency, tending towards uh, lighter loads at higher RPM, though still being very, very broad uh, in its peak down along the uh, center of this kind of mid-load um, kind of torque trace. So while uh, we're in a position to hit the center of our absolute peak efficiency at full throttle on our lightest load, uh, the light two inch uh, prop, down more in the mid throttle range, uh, we're actually in a, a good position to take advantage of the best efficiency the motor has to offer uh, with uh, the light three inch and the uh, light two and a half inch loads. Um, and, you know, even a little heavier than that. Overall, the efficiency tends fairly low, though. Um, at these uh, mid-throttle points, uh, the efficiency is dropping off very, very quickly um, with maybe half of the uh, throttle range um, up any one of these ones being over 50 percent efficiency in terms of thrust for our light three inch we're looking at uh, about 275 grams of thrust for our light two and a half we're seeing uh about 217 and for our light two inch prop uh, 150 grams of thrust Comparing against our reference uh, Emacs motor, uh, you can see just how big of a difference um, that mid mid throttle efficiency really is. So while at um, you know on our full throttle trace at our uh, peak power on this Emacs, we're we're probably being beaten in terms of efficiency by maybe 10%. But down in the mid throttle section, where on this Emacs we're just touching 50% efficiency down here, say between. Uh, 20 and 30,000 RPM. On the Hawk Sky, we're looking more uh, at uh, 20 or 30% efficiency rather than uh, 50. So uh, as you start throttling down, uh, you take a much, much bigger hit of efficiency um, than you would uh, guess from just looking at the uh, full throttle. But because we do have a big uh, uh, gain in KV um, over uh, effective voltages, um, although the efficiency isn't uh, particularly awesome um, and although the torque is not as strong the uh, slope of this line is uh, shallower on the hawk sky especially at lower uh, loadings this is pushing us to uh, way higher powers than we're able to get um, with our uh, reference comparison motor there and you can really see that difference here uh, when we compare just the uh, full throttle traces for both of them unlike the uh, lower kv variants of this motor where we've got a crossover compared to the emax 4500 um, on this one we make more power at um, every loading uh, even the uh, heavier loadings uh, we're looking at more thrust uh, from that extra kv in terms of power for that uh, light three inch uh, we're looking at about 130 watts for our light uh, two and a half inch about 105 watts and for our light two inch we're looking at about 80 watts of uh, power at full throttle